Here it is, guys. Toilet Paper Wars back at it again. Well, somewhat. But it's more of a war on our minds, more of a war on the general idea of things the way they should be. Basic day-to-days. It's a war on how you sleep. It's a war on what you think. It's a war on uh, where you shop, where you buy, how far you're from your home. What am I talking about? Well, if you just jump in on the bandwagon on the channel, welcome to the channel. Mike Martin's here. We've been talking about uh, what's been happening um, in Australia for a good while now with the uh, Victoria shutdown. We had people on the show. Come on, Mike in the Night, if you guys want to join us Saturday nights, Mike in the Night. Uh, be part of the show where we actually have guests on the show from Australia, uh, from the lockdown areas and the regional areas uh, that are giving us um, an update on what's happening on the ground. Same thing with callers from New Zealand. And same thing with callers from the UK, America, and Canada. And uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, uh, Victoria. The state of Victoria is going psycho. It's crazy. What the heck is happening with four hundred or some odd deaths of you know COVID? It's like you, it's like you can't, you can't. Anyways, it's more political than it is anything else. So no one panic if you're living in the state of Victoria. So guys, here it is, guys. Uh, last uh, last Saturday show, Neuralink transplant. Call in. We had people in from Victoria here. The, the, the issue is there was one passenger. Where's our? Where's our? Uh, quite a few. Here, if, you, if you go to the, the governor's uh, Facebook Facebook profile, he's always he's always. Yeah, so we anybody, shame it. we got callers from Australia. No, it's the opposite. They're going to put victims in jail if they. So victims are going to jail if they speak out. Guys, don't forget to check out Mike in the Night every Saturday night. Uh, go to the channel. Sorry I'm doing such a big plug here, but it's important that we get more people on this show at night where we're live and people call in uh, call in on Skype and be part of the transmission. Okay, well, what's happening here? Melbourne, stage four restrictions and COVID lockdown rules explained. Um, um. Um, okay, this is from less than eight hours ago. The Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has announced uh, the uh, tough new stage four coronavirus restrictions for metropolitan Melbourne, including overnight curfew. Um, okay, Victoria stage three ro rules COVID restrictions state by state. Victoria COVID map, full Australian COVID stats. I don't believe any of that. Sign up for Guardian uh, Australian COVID email. So, people... We've had, where I am, we've had Kovi back in uh, uh, first, second week of December, up until the third week of December. We had Kovi here in 2019. It came through like, uh, 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 it came through like, uh, like a tsunami. Really sick. And the second time I got it, I had to do my will because I thought I was a goner. I'm not, jo I'm not kidding you. My wife had to go to the hospital like three times. They didn't know what we had. They had no idea. They couldn't test for what we had. And this whole town could testify and say, yeah, he's right. I was sick too. We were all sick. It, it was funny. You go to the grade schools, there would be three teachers in school and like five students in the whole school because everybody was sick. But they didn't, did they close down schools at the time? No. Did they? No. They didn't. So this thing's got to come through. It's like trying to stop the wind. Keeping people and locking them in their homes isn't going to solve the issue. It's going to make things even worse. You're going to see the suicide rate go up, and you're going to see people with breathing issues because of this mask mandates that they have in Victoria. So sign up for – do not sign up for this, guys. So here it is, guys. Stage 4 restrictions have been in effect across metropolitan Melbourne since Sunday, 2nd of August. Uh, will allow for six weeks. So this is um, from the 2nd of August, right? No. Let's move on down. When did the lockdown start? The stage four restrictions covering metropolitan Melbourne began on the 2nd of August and will last for six weeks until 13th of September. Additional restrictions on businesses were announced on Monday, 3rd of August, on the most of them from 12.01 uh, uh, Thursday, 6th of August. Okay, when can I leave my house? You are only allowed to leave your house for four reasons. Shopping, food, essential items, care, Care, care and caregiving, daily exercise and work. Employers must support you uh, to work from home if you can work from home. Unlike stage three, there is now curfew on Melbourne residents between 8 p.m. and 5 in the morning. So let's go on here. How far can I travel from home? So it's five kilometers. We discussed this on the show, five kilometers. What are the rules uh, for exercise? Exercise will be permitted for reason, uh, for permitted reason to leave your house, but you will not be 
allowed to leave the metropolitan Melbourne uh, to exercise. So you can't go to long bush walks. You can't you can't leave in the in, in, get out to the outback or get out for a nice road trip and go out for a nice bike ride or a mountain bike ride for exercise. You can't do any of that stuff, right? So swimming pools, playgrounds shut down. Uh, what are the rules for wearing face masks? It's been mandatory for people in metropolitan Melbourne and uh, Mitchell Shire uh, to wear uh, coverings in public since uh, midnight Wednesday, 22nd. Okay. Uh, is my munis municipality suburb or, or uh, suburb included? And then you go into here. It tells you, it gives you the lockdown, the, the actual map over here. So, so this goes into lockdown. The article... Um, it's not even eight hours old because today's September 1st. So the article is not even old. Why are they kind of reintroducing this stage four restrictions? Well, I got word from the ground directly from Melbourne, Australia. Somebody kind of told me what is inkling. So you're probably watching this. I'm like this. They're talking about something that happened three weeks ago. They're going to be lifting this. This thing on September 13th. Was it September 13th here? Mike, why are you wasting our time with this? Well, there's actually something else that's going to happen. I'll tell you in a second. Uh, is my municipality uh, or suburb, in, uh, suburb included? You go up right to the top. You'll find it right here at the top of the page. So there it is. Uh, a map and full stats. You open that up, and it's going to give you the areas where you can and can't go. These are the active cases, recoveries, and deaths. I don't, I don't even know how that's even possible where they have less than 400 deaths. I don't understand what the heck is going on. So there it is. Uh, there's the map tracking. Um, so you can go into that and read that mumbo jumbo if you really want to. Okay, so let's move on down here. Uh, is my municipality or suburb? We read that. Now, can I have visitors at my house? Can I see a partner? You cannot have visitors go into another person's house unless it is for the purpose of giving or receiving care. You can leave your house to visit a person if you are in an uh, intimate personal relationship with them. Okay, you can leave your house to visit if you're in an intimate personal relationship with them. That's, that is, there is no uh, bunk ban. Oh, they're going to do a bunk ban. Uh, do I have to stay in Melbourne? The stay-at-home rules apply uh, to your main place of residence so you will not be able to get out of Melbourne and stay in your holiday houses. The government says this is to stop the virus from being spread to other parts of the state. Can I still deny in restaurant? Uh, can I still call in dining restaurants or cafe? Dine in restaurant. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't said that in a while. Uh, restaurants and cafes will only be able to trade as takeaway and delivery business. Will shops be open? Supermarkets, grocery stores, bottle shops, uh, pharmacies, petrol stations, banks, and local ba uh, uh, bankers and butchers will be allowed to trade, but subject to uh, destiny rules limited by people per square meter. Uh, so there it is, guys. There's a breakdown. Now, why am I reading this if it's going to be lifted in uh, September 13? Well, here goes, guys. You don't have to believe me on this one, but... They're, they're thinking of extending this to 24 months. This is what they're saying. They're thinking of extending this to 24 months in, in Melbourne. Not only that, they're also extend, they want to extend it to two other states or two other provinces. With the f f level three lockdown and then go into stage four lockdown. Like they want to actually kind of bring it in like plat like they did here in Melbourne. It, like the, and I've been saying this for so many years and I made so many videos about it. Australia is the testing ground for the for the Commonwealth. And a lot of people are believing it. A lot of the big channels now are saying what I'm saying. See, I don't post dick here. I actually pre-dick. So if you go to my channel and you type in Australia, Ban uh, immigrants in Sydney, Melbourne. Ten reasons why I'm leaving Australia. Australia's 133 property price slide. It's from a year ago. Australia goes corporate while country burns. Uh, Australian housing market rest in peace. Um, Sydney man. You got to hear this one. Sydney man leaves to Mexico. Australia too expensive. One in ten Australian uh, uh, dwellings are empty. Australia's housing market severely unaffordable. 
so then you go back, you, you got articles going back many years. There you go. Australian housing predictions. Wow. 2016 replay. This is actually from four years ago when I used to live in my old place. And uh, there it is from 2016. I have the replay here. I actually have it still. I didn't take it down. But so there it is. Look, even before even before COVID, look, one in five Australian household in mortgage stress. Wow. Way before. Housing crisis Australia. Credit ratings under threat three years ago. Australia housing problem. I didn't miss out and crying now. Penal colony 1114 Australia. I call Australia penal colony 1114. 115 is uh, New Zealand. 113 is the UK. 1112 is Canada and 1111 is the United States. So, depending on which penal colony you're in, there's different laws. First time buyers return to Australia's housing uh, housing market right there. So, I've been doing this for a long time. And guys, I've been following the pattern of corporate sell-offs, housing sell-offs. How basically, the government's, uh, the Australia's economy is based off of housing. Plain and, sim plain and simple. We're not going to argue this. So... Once they can't sell homes, that's why construction is a mandatory and essential business, even in Canada. Canada, construction is essential because what are the what are the what are the what are the Chinese investors going to buy if there's no if there's there's no properties to buy, right? So you got to keep that in mind. That's very important that you keep that in mind. And I kind of wanted to throw this out there because now. You heard it here first. It's not post-diction. It's pre-diction. Join us on Mike in the Night, guys, when you have when you get some time. It's like Sunday afternoon in Australia. I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, set your reminders, guys, please. I really appreciate it. Set your reminders here and join uh, Trends in the Housing Market, where we talk about housing all over the Commonwealth. We're in our almost 300th episode. Don't forget to check out all these other shows and be part of it. Call in. We get so many good call-ins. I like... I like the call-in from last week, too. She was really good. Me, uh, a USA soybean. Or... You know, not all these places, they hold us up to be clean and green and natural, but when you come down here, it's like, well, no, actually, it's not like that at all. It's expensive. It's hard to make a living, but, it, it, you know, for a lot of people in the world, uh, they think, oh, I'll go to New Zealand. It's safe. And, mm -mm. and so Very overpriced, got, uh, very expensive. Oh, yeah, but, you know, we've got um, hundreds of thousands, even millions of people who want to come down here. So there it is. That's from Mike in the Night, Political Carnival Sideshow. Guys, check out the channel. No one, you know, the channel was, the channel's been shadow banned. It's been banned three times in a row uh, from uploading videos. So it is on uh, YouTube's, like, We Don't Like You channel. You know what I'm saying? Everything's been backed up. Everything. All, all my videos have been backed up to go onto five, six different platforms if needs be. It doesn't matter. I just want to know what you guys think in the matter. If you're living in Australia, now, don't worry if you're living in a... So they're going to go digital cash. They're going to go negative rates. They're going to start fixing the housing issue by going into negative rates. They go into negative rates. The people that borrow will be rewarded, and the people that 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 uh, save will be punished. It's happening in Europe, so don't think this is a, a pipe dream. Now, okay, hold on a second. Now, we got, we got, hold on. Why am I bringing this up if you're living in Canada or, or if you're living in, 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 in the UK? Well, Canada, well, Canada especially, has this, this thing about following or being trying to be the first on the platform on the world stage to show, set an example to the rest of the world on how open borders and all that stuff works. And that's what Canada is about. Canada is about showing the rest of the world how... Yeah, and, and the thing is, we keep fleeing to America. Why do you think uh, Canada closed the borders of the United States? There's too many Canadians leaving. There's about 35 million Canadians living in America since 1974. So Canada is one of those countries where more people leave it than live in it. So, I mean, there's quite a few countries like that where the birth rate uh, is lower than the uh, – the death rate's higher than the birth rate. Comment below. This might be coming to a sitting near you. They might be testing it in Australia. They might be moving it into two other states. They are putting up boxes and 5G everywhere and cameras on every corner, and it's going to get bigger. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is a very interesting topic for Mike in the Night. Uh, don't forget to join me tomorrow night on Trends in the Housing Market. Big hug. Lots of love. God bless. We'll talk soon.